Peachy Pigeon here. Today we're gonna look at some paint that I got from Walmart and if I look towards the viewfinder a little bit it's because I've never done a video quite like this way so not used to it. Uh, there goes the air. Oh I don't have my mic in. Be right back. Okay, so just kidding. I plugged my mic in and it ended up not working, so we're going to hear from voiceover me. So here I'm talking about how I wanted some matte paint. I'm on the search for the perfect matte paint. And one of my biggest things is I don't want it to have a smell. I'd prefer it to be light fast, but if I can experiment with some colors that are cheap first, that would be great. So... This is the Matte Essentials from Apple Barrel, and I googled it on Walmart, or sorry, on Google. I googled it, and it told me that I could find them for 50 cents a piece at Walmart. So I was like, heck, I'll just go there. I saw that, that set for $4.97. Okay, so the first color in the set is white. Then next we have a pink parfait. The third color is Cardinal Crimson. Fourth color is King's Gold. I like this next one. It's called Limeade. Kelly's Green. Kelly Green. Pavement. Nutmeg Brown. Admiral Blue. Laguna. Caribbean. Last but not least, we have Sky Blue. And here I'm reading the paint, so I'll do that again. It says Apple Barrel, Matte Acrylic Paint, Quick Drying, Easy Cleanup, 2 Fluid Ounces. And on the back we have Versatile High Quality Acrylic Paint for Crafts. It says to shake it. Excellent coverage, fast drying, water base, non-toxic, and it says to let dry for one hour between uh, coats. And here I'm just showing all the rest of the colors I got. So, yeah. Okay, we are back with all the other colors. So I'm going to put those up on the top of the deck. And So we got Petunia Purple, Blueberry Frost, Blue Bonnet, Pink Polish, Yellow Flame, Antique Parchment, Flamingo Coral, Light Mocha, oh, there it goes, Granite Gray, English Navy, Burnt Umber, Bright blue, Key West, Jet Black, Snow White, which is different from the other white. They didn't just have more plain white. Lavender Sachet. Probably not saying that right. Territorial Beige, Harvest Orange, Cameo Pink, and 
and zebra pink. No, wait, there's one more. Khaki. Okay, well, that's all the colors I got, including the ones I already spoke about. So we'll move on to swatches now. Okay, so it's a few days later now. And I did a little experiment. There's a yellow sketchbook that I really want. And of course, Blick seems to be the only one that has it. I don't want to get it from Blick. I'm not going to order from there. So I was like, you know what? I can make my own yellow background, so that's what I did, and as you can see here in the light, it's definitely not matte. I wouldn't even say it's like semi-matte. I would call this satin. It's a little frustrating. You know, I expect the colors to be transparent, and you know, it's craft paint. But it annoys me when companies make products that say they're, you know, like matte or satin or glossy or whatever, and, it, and it's not. But that's not even the biggest issue. The biggest issue, so I used this color. Uh, I can't even see. King's Gold. That's what I used. And I had to stop. I'm not going to be messing around with this paint anymore. It Still to this day, it's two or three days later, it stinks. Like, I mean, like, there's got to be a lot of fumes in it. Like, it just, it just stinks too much. Uh, immediately upon applying the layer, I got a huge headache. And I thought I would go lay the book on top of the washer and that it would help because there's a fan in there. And it didn't help, so unfortunately, those are two things I can't deal with. I, I, well, I could deal with the satin aspect of it because there's just so many colors and it would be fun to play with colors, but I can't deal with the smell. But if you're somebody that you know, on top of that, I have parrots, and there's no way in heck that I can have this kind of paint around them, but even myself. So if you're somebody that's not sensitive to any kind of fumes and smells, and you're okay with it being satin, then this could be the paint for you, but I can't deal with any of that. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing any swatches or anything like that, so I guess... You know, the hunt continues. I really want to get that flash paint. So, it's probably what I'm going to do next. I don't usually go and return stuff like this just because for all the colors together, it was like 21 bucks. But I think at this point, I'm probably going to return it. So, that's that. That's the unboxing in the, my small little two cents about it so thanks for watching